to the 10th meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I'd like to remind everyone present to switch their mobile phones to silent. And as we're meeting both in the Parliament and online today, I appreciate that it will be a bit more challenging for members <coughs> appearing online <coughs> excuse me, to indicate agreement uh, to the items being discussed. Can I therefore ask for members appearing remotely to raise their hand if they're not content with any questions being put? The first item of business is to take, uh, decide whether to take items five and six in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yes. Thank you. Under agenda item number two, we are considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the following draft instrument. The Land Reform Scotland Act 2016, Register of Persons Holding a Controlled Interest in Land Amendment Regulations 2021. Members will note that a draft of the instrument was originally laid on the 2nd of November 2021. It was subsequently withdrawn and relayed on the 10th of November, following initial questions from this committee. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Yeah. Under agenda item number three, we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on two of these instruments. Firstly, SSI 2021-378, the Public Procurement Agreement on Government Procurement, Thresholds, etc. Amendment, Scotland Regulations 2021. The instrument includes amendments to the thresholds that apply in the field of public procurement that are specified in a number of procurement SSIs. The amendments are made in accordance with the UK's international obligations under the Agreement on Government Procurement, the GPA. The committee wrote to the Scottish Government to draw its attention uh, to a cross-referencing error in Regulation 3.5 of the instrument. In its response, the Scottish Government agreed that this was an error and confirmed that a corrective instrument has been drafted and will be laid in early course. It also highlighted that an incorrect threshold appears in one of the financial thresholds amended by the instrument and that the corrective instrument will also rectify this error. Full details of the error in Regulation 3 can be found in the correspondence between the Committee and the Scottish Government. This correspondence is included as Paper 2 of this meeting, which can be found within the agenda on the Committee's website. Does the Committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground uh, on the basis that Regulation 3.5 refers to Part 2 of Schedule 2 of the Public Contract Scotland Regulations 2015? but should instead refer to Part 2 of Schedule 1, and that Regulation 4.2b refers to £462,955, which should instead refer to £426,955. This committee also wish to welcome that the Scottish Government will lay an amending instrument in early course to rectify these errors. Thank you. An issue has also been raised on SSI 2021-398 at the Private Storage Aid Scheme Pigmeat Scotland Regulations 2021. The, the instrument makes provision for a scheme to grant aid for the private storage of pigmeat and specifies the criteria for payment, the procedure for applications uh, and by when these must be made. The scheme is designed to avoid the need for the culling of pigs and farms and the financial loss to farmers as a result. This instrument breaches Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010, which requires that negative instruments are laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. This instrument was laid on the 5th of November 2021 and came into force on the 8th of November 2021. The Scottish Government has written to the presiding officer to explain why the 28-day rule has not been complied with. Does the committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground J on the basis that there was a failure to lay the instrument in accordance with the laying of requirements under the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010? Yes. Yeah. Is the committee content with the explanation provided for the breach of the laying requirements? Yeah. Thank you. Also, under this item, no points have been raised on SSI 2021-402. Is the committee content with this instrument? 
Under agenda item number four, we are considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2021-391. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yeah. Thank you. And with that, I'll move the committee into private.